Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 887. If you want to download this workbook 886 to 889, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, this trick here comes from Schultz Blue at YouTube. Uh, under Excel Magic Trick 884, he left a formula and a link for this great uh, trick here. But I want to. This is 887. I want to go back to 886 because 886 we did uh, a similar. Uh, task. Let's go back over here. 886, we had a proper data set and we had a record. East, WF, and we need to list Fred over and across tabulated. So Fred needed to be listed for East Whole Foods. And we saw two great formulas so to, to in essence, look up any uh, row header, column header, and extract the manager's name. All right, but check this out. Fred here. East Whole Foods Fred is only listed once for East Whole Foods. Now look at eight. Let's look at eight eight seven. We're going to need to. We have row, column, Tom, but our formula when it extracts needs to list. Tom is only listed here one time, but it needs to be listed twice here when it sees three one, or when it sees one three. All right, so let's see how to do this. Just like back in 886, uh, we have a row. I'm going to do my formula here. We have a row header and a column header. In essence, two criteria in two columns. So I'm simply going to join the 3 and the 1 together and compare it against these two columns joined. All right, so just back like in back in 886, I'm going to say row header 3, and I'm going to lock it with the column reference lock but not the row. We copy this way it's locked. Move it down, copy down, dance and dance, move to four. Join it with shift seven, the ampersand, or one. And I'm going to lock that with the row reference. Now, this is saying is three, one equal to, and now I'm going to highlight that, F4 to lock it, ampersand, join, that column F4. Right, so right now it's just asking a single question: Is three one in these two columns? Right, and we're going to get one true if we highlight this and hit the F9 key. We get a single true, which represents the first record, Tom. Control Z. Now we need our formula to not only say three one, but also when we get over here, there's a three in the column header here and a one here. All right, so it's actually an either or. We're never going to get two trues, but we're going to ask two questions. In this cell, we're going to get the three here and the one here. So I'm going to put parentheses around this. And since it's an either or, and we're never going to get more than, we're not going to actually ever get two, we can use plus. That's Boolean logic for or. And now we're going to. Do the opposite of what we just did here. Here it's 3, 1. But notice in this record set, the 3 is listed first and the 1. So all we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here, except we're going to, going to switch. Instead of saying row header, column header, we're going to say column header and lock that with the F4, um, row reference locked with the F4, ampersand row header, and then I'm going to lock that with the column. The cool thing about that is that criteria, in essence, is, well, actually, let's slap. We, we already have the second part of it. I'm just going to slap this right here, close parentheses. Now, here it says 3, 1, but, and it's listed as row column, right? But over here, we switched it up. We tricked it. We're comparing it against the same two join column, which have a 3 and then a 1. So all we did is we switched it. We just said, hey, I'm going to trick it. The column header, row header. That's why when it gets over to this cell, that green cell will be looking there, 3, 1. All right, so either or. Now that's going to give us, um, because of this operator right here, uh, ones and zeros. But let's just look at this. Right now, this better give us uh, all falses. So I'm going to hit the F9 key to evaluate. And sure enough, it does. Control Z. Just for kicks, I'm going to Control Shift Enter. And I'm going to drag it over and then up. Now here, you could see that this little first part, F9, gives us false, 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 escape. But the second part right here, F9, 
boom, there's our true. Just because we switched the row and column headers, it'll find the first record, which is Tom. Escape. And now let's continue with this. I'm going to take this in for our lookup. I'm going to say 1 divided by, and I'm going to have to put that whole thing in parentheses to force that plus. Now, that's going to be the lookup array. If I'm going to highlight this and hit the F9, it gives us 1 divided by zeros. That should look similar to what we did last video. We're going to use the lookup. The lookup value, I'm only going to get a 1, so I'm going to put a 1 as the lookup value, comma, the lookup vector, that's it, comma, result vector, that's what we want to return to the cell, F4, close parentheses. All right, now, even though just a moment ago we did Control-Shift-Enter because we had only the array in the cell, the lookup vector for the lookup function can handle array, so you just have to Control-Enter. I'm going to copy it down, over, and I need to copy it up. All right, and so now we have our Tom, Tom, Sue, Sue. And we can do if error, 2007 or later, that works. If that's an error, comma, what do I want? I'm going to put double quote for show me nothing. Control Enter, double click and send it down and over. So that's pretty cool. That's an either or when we need to show 3, 1 or 3, 1. Tom in either case. The post over here, I did it slight, uh, in a slight different way. They, uh, their formula, they put a 42. They actually had a 42, some big number to look up. They ran this, cri this check right here times the second one. So whereas I join them together, they just ran two arrays saying, are they equal? Multiplying is and criteria in Boolean. Then they had the plus, and then they ran two checks again with multiplying being the and, and finally uh, the result vector. All right, uh, lots of fun with uh, Schultz Blue's uh, post here, and uh, we'll see you next trick.